Yeah, good morning everyone and welcome to Binance. My today presentation I will be talking about how to fund your Binance account through P2P. First and foremost, what you need to do first is first log in. If you if you have not logged in, if you don't have an account before you log in, you need to create one. Create an account first before you log in. But if you have an account already, fine, which is good. You log in, you follow up the process, you log in your email address and your password. There will be a code sent to your phone once you log in. You click on the code, it will send to your phone. Either you copy the code from your phone and slot it in, you will get access to your accounts. But if you use a mobile, you download the mobile and you did your registration with the mobile app. The same thing on the web. There's there are two columns. One is web email address and one is phone number. You log in with your phone number, password, you click enter. To enter the page now this is this is my dashboard my dashboard for my bandits bandits so basically today's presentation is on how to fund your bandits account through p2p now what you do you just go to buy crypto you click on p2p trade now what you need to know is this bank deposit and trade crypto and debit card is not available to nigeria why because of cbm ban so all banks are scared and if you if you foolishly by mistake you click on these two your account will be blocked so you don't as far as you're in nigeria don't go with these two options these two options but if you are not in nigeria you can go with these two options if you are in nigeria you go with p2p trade but if you are not in nigeria you are outside the country and you have a foreign account, you can use this bank deposit and credit card and card credit and debit card. If you don't have a Nigeria account and you have a foreign account, you can use bank deposit, you can use this too for it. But if you are in Nigeria, you use this. Then if you are outside the country and you use a Nigeria account, please don't use this too. Use P2P. Because you are outside the country and you still depend on your Nigeria account. So let me show you this step. Let me walk you through. You click on it. It will load. Okay. Now, look at there is a change here. Now, I'm in Nigeria. I'm in Nigeria now, presently now. And now, look at my right up. It's in Chinese. It's in Chinese. The same thing applicable to mobile app. If you are using mobile app, once you see this kind of issue, just click on this. For app, for laptop, click on this. Just click on it. Now, look at the countries. All the countries. What I do, I will just scroll down, scroll down, look for Nigeria, look at Nigeria, click on it. But for app, if you are using app, it's not like this, it's different. Now for app, is this. If you log in with your app, you will see, you will see a phone name, a phone name style. At this corner, you already see arrow is, a phone name, it's just like phone name. You click on the phone name, if you are using mobile app, mobile app. You click on the phone here, a page will open. You have to scroll down and look for Nigeria. You scroll down and down. When you see this NGN, now there are two NGN. One NGN, N M N M N G N flat and NGN. So click on NGN, not NGN flat, flat. NGN. Click on NGN, not NGN flat, please. Don't click on NGN flat, please. Just click on NGN. That is Nigeria for you. You click on it. Now, one of the secrets, one of the secrets of P2P is this. You look for trade, a trader that has done 100%. 100%, yes, look at this. This guy here has done 100% trade. 
So I can say, yes, I can buy from this guy. I can buy from this guy. And now, let me explain so many things. Now, this price range you are seeing, this price, this is the price he says for one, one, one Bitcoin. It's not one Bitcoin, no, please. To a this, the amount he says for a fraction. This amount, like now, if you are buying ten thousand, ten ten dollar, you are buying ten dollar USSD, ten dollar hundred dollar, ten dollar you times ten by this, it will give you four thousand, four thousand, four thousand seven seventy naira. If you are buying hundred dollar times the hundred hundred dollar by this, that is what you are buying. That is the amount of worth of USD you are buying. So this is the price that is saying, the price in rates in na one naira one dollar to this one dollar to four nine seven point nine three and if you, as you can look at all of them they all have different range that they fix so now limit and availability availability means this is the number of USD this client has he has this amount for sale he has this amount for sale that is the availability. The limit means the amount that he can sell to you. The amount means it falls within this range and this range. It can't go below. If, you, if this guy can't sell for you for 150, he can't sell for you for 100. He can sell for you for 198 and above. 198,500 and above. You see that they all have different range, limit range and everything. Now, okay, let me now. Although, if you are okay with the ranges, you can buy from anyone, but the best is I like buying from Andre because why? Why is this? They have done all their verification. And for you to for you to buy from P2P, please, you need to do all your verification. And how can you get your verification ports? When you click here, this is where you get your verification. You come to here, this symbol here, like woman, you come to identification, you click on identification. To complete your all your verification. If you've not done your verification, you can't buy two P2P. You need to do your verification. Now, like me, I've done my P2P. I've done my verification. Sorry. I've done my verification. So I can buy from P2P. But if you have not done your verification, you can't buy. And if you click on buy, they will refer you to your verification. So that is it. What you need to do. Now, I'll see you need to search for somebody with 100%. Now limited, this guy has limited, he's not available, he doesn't have this amount in here any longer. People are buying from him. That is why. So I need to search more. Okay. See there, 93, 89. Some people they buy from 99, some people buy from but my own. I want to be sure, 100% sure. So I buy from where 100% because he has done his completion. And look at his orders. Some orders are some people orders less. You can buy from this one, depending on me. For safety, I buy from 100%. 100 because there are a lot of things, there are a lot of scammers in P2P. You can send them money, they won't go send anything. They will just switch up their line and everything. So there are a lot of scammers. So you need to be very, very careful. Although so many people, so many investors have they bought from even people with 99, 89%, 92%. But me, I like going for 100 percent Everybody with their own understanding. Like now, okay, I want to buy now. See his range. See the availability of coin he has, USSD. This is what he has. 5,000 from 5,000 to this. So I can buy at 5,000. I can buy at 10,000 within this range. You see? I can buy from this. And also, if you are looking for amounts, you don't have amounts, you want to be specific, you can just come here, put 5,000. 5,000. Then click on search. It will search everybody that are selling for 5,000 mid range. It will show. Look at it. Okay, below 5,000, 1,000 to 65,000, 2,000, 5,000, 
and look at their percentage. This guy has done a uh, look at this guy, he has done a lot of trade. But me, I still look for 100 percent The one with 100 percent And you can do it for each and every coin that you are seeing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can do it for all of them. The same method. Same thing. I'm looking for 100 percent Okay, 100 percent This guy sent from 2000 this look at his rates he's selling 490 499.95 naira to one dollar so if i'm buying at hundred dollar times hundred dollar times this to get it in naira then i click on buy because i've done all my verification i click on buy a new page will open now this is a transaction port that I want to do. And remember, I said I want to buy at 5,000. This is the availability of what this guy has here. Look at what he has, what he has here. And they gave me payment time limit, 15 minutes. So I have to pay within these 15 minutes. And seller's payment method, bank transfer. So what I do, I just come here, click the amount, because this guy is 2,000 minimum. So I just come here, 5,000. 5,000. 5,000 will give me 10 USSD. Then I click on buy. A new page will open. Now I will get the information of that person. It's loading. Yes, good. Now I click on that person. He will say, Look at his name. Look at his name. Look at his bank account. Look at his uh, bank account number. Look at his bank name. And the good thing is, look at his phone number. So I will, can call him. I can call him and say, guy, hello, I used to sue person. I'm making a transfer of 5,000 naira to, to, to buy USSD, 10 units. So he's going to be aware. And this is the time. Payment payment to be made. Within this time. They gave me 15 minutes. So I have to pay within this time, this time range. If it gets to zero, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. So I have to pay within this time range. I don't let it get to 10, zero. Within these 15 minutes, they give me 15 minutes to pay, make the payment. So I have to make the payment. Otherwise, I cancel if I'm no longer interested. So I call him. I copy his number. They tell him I'm making a transfer. There are some people. There are some. You see a shot. If they are live, look at it here. If the person is online, I can send him a message. I say, what's up, old guy? I want to buy... USSD from your hand. I've got you at that. I've made a transfer. I can say that it is going to respond to me if it's online. Then if I've made the transfer already to his account with the alerts on my phone as evident, I'll click here. I've made a transfer. And once I click transfer next, they will take me to a image confirm. Then I make the transfer. Okay, look at it now. The guy I just is online. Cancel the trade. Do not pay. You see, the guy just sent me now. Cancel the trade. Do not pay. Maybe the guy doesn't have enough to sell. You see that? Doesn't have enough to sell. So what I do, I just come here. Cancel it. But if the guy doesn't send me a message, I call him. Say, Alpha, I want to buy uh, John Obi. I want to buy USSD from your hand. So I'm out. I clicked on it. Okay. I'm sending it. Transfer 10,000 to your account. As I made a transfer, he said, okay. I come here. I click on it. They will give me a time timing. But now I'm not transferring. I'm not doing anything. So what I do, I just confirm. I just confirm. I'm not transferring. So I'm just giving you an example. Example. So that is what you do. You make a payment to the person's account. So when you make a payment, you click on transfer next. Transfer next. Once you click on next, you are confirmed. So you wait, you give about like 20, 20, no, not 20 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes, you are already credited. And once you are credited, so if the next place you go to, for the USSD, because you bought USSD, you click here, there will be a page that will pop up and say, go back to your, your wallet. Go back to your wallet. So what you do, you just come here, you click here. Once you click there, it will open, 
your wallet balance will open. And once your wallet balance open, it will show you the amount of USSD you've bought. It will show you all the coin. And if you can't see the coin that you bought, you can just come in, type USD. It will show. Then your amount will show. Your amount will show. But if you log in and it's showing you this star, 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 this star you are seeing, just click on show balance. Once you click on show balance, everything will show. That is how to fund your Binance through P2P. Thank you very much.